Oh, I think it's telling me. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, big. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm leaving the area. I'm leaving the area, Mr. Robot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of something new. Welcome to Scum Survival, a brand new survival game. It is actually going to be coming out on the 29th of August. But huge thank you to the Scum Devs for actually allowing me to hop into this crazy in-depth survival game. Honestly, I'm looking into it a little bit, and this is seriously looking like the single most in-depth survival game I have ever seen already right here at the character customization menu the first thing that happens when you join a game or join a server you guys can see we can freaking modify our age it changes some of these stats and these stats are very very important for the very next thing but you guys can see we can like mess around with this i already found myself a good way i already found myself a good face too this guy's just eyeing me giving oh did he just go cross eye <laughs> freaking goofball so let's head on next and if you guys are enjoying the series definitely make sure you subscribe to the notification bell to stay up to date because this series will continue i'm so excited to be hopping into scum dude this is just looking so dope and here we can even start putting some points into skills honestly i feel like melee weapons are definitely something super important that i want to put some skills into so that's something we're doing you guys can see because of our strength that is actually affecting the amount of skills we can put in as you guys can see it takes one point to go up to basic it takes two to actually go from basic to the middle level so unfortunately we can't do that but we can go ahead and just uh become basic over here in the rifle and handgun departments over here probably just a good amount of endurance and running i'm guessing that's the best bet resistance might be useful but mass stealth is going to be super important in this game then we'll just use the rest of our points over there on throwing and finally our intelligence skills which ooh, actually do go for a good amount probably a little bit of survival could go a long way and potentially some medical stuff as well and uh i'd say i'm pretty happy with that let's create the character and let's dive on in it's a scum of survival but seriously i was just like messing around with this game a little bit in single player and it is looking nutty so i'm so excited for this let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below as well and if you guys are enjoying it definitely hit that like button because i'm a man of the people dang it all right if you guys are liking this i think we must continue because uh, i'm gonna continue in my free time anyways this is looking dope and uh speaking of that subscribe and notification bell reminder as well we're not just playing scum over here on the channel we're playing all of the latest and greatest survival games keeping up with updates so all in all it's a pretty dope investment but not as dope as investing my time into scum right here right now and here we are we have spawned in uh in the middle of nowhere Ooh. Or maybe not in the middle of nowhere. Okay, okay, I see you. I'm seeing some sort of fence-like structure here. Uh, there are enemies as well in this game. We are in a PvP server currently, so we can... Is that a freaking target? Is that... Is this a shooting range? <gasps> Yo, wait, if this is a shooting range... <gasps> I wonder... Ho, 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 ho. Could there be... A little something something known as some guns on this end of the range i don't know but i think that's worth exploring wouldn't you guys agree there we are seeing the zombies oh that one's looking like extra red and evil but there are also zombies in the game but we are in a pvp server the servers can hold up to 64 people but seriously as we continue checking this out you guys will see the amount of depth to this game is crazy this is like what daisy should have been you guys can already see here our clothes literally affect how much we can hold over here in the crafting menu there's so many items we can craft up that uh well currently we ain't got jack so we can't do that look at this look at my, my freaking heartbeat sensor man this ain't modern warfare 2 and i don't even need a sensor and we know how we're beaten we know how we're breathing like look at all of this depth i have never before seen this in a freaking survival game and it's absolutely nutty there we can see i believe all the people who've been on the server there are also global events that we can join into and even compete in so it's not like it's strictly open world survival we can also like hop into those events and have fun that way but right now what I'm looking to do is have fun over here. Then today's actually the first day of school for me as well. Back on the college grind, baby. I'm recording this uh, right before the... Ooh, some hiking boots. Okay, that'll, that'll probably go a long way. But I'm literally recording this right before I got to sprint off to class. Reminded me of the good days, man. Last semester, that's exactly what we were doing. And you know we're going to be back on that grind. Especially if there are dope survival games like Scum coming out. And uh, spoiler alert, there's a lot of dope survival games coming out later this year. So... I'm freaking hype, but right now let's focus the hype on one area. That area being scum. What we got in the we got Jack Squat in the fridge. Worst fridge NA. I am not a mute. What was that noise? Is that a zombie? Oh mama, don't tell me that there are zombies nearby here too. No, no, no. Not today. Don't do this to me. How am I not finding any items, dude? Can I at least get a baseball bat so I can go bash them brains into these zombies? Come on, anything. Oh, the locker. Come on. This is like <gasps> uh, a metal scrap. 
Can I, can I use that as a weapon? Just kind of like, you know, throw it at the zombies? It's probably sharp. A waste bag. Ooh. Can I equip that? Can I uh, pick up? Equip. There we go. Is that going to give me... Look at that, dude. We got the fanny pack. Oh, ho, ho. ain't nobody ready for Papa Star and the fanny pack to take the scum world by storm. I think we're seeing... Ooh, a little bit of ammo there. Good, good, good. Uh, and then this doorway that leads back to the outside. And is that a freaking... Oh, I thought that was like a torch in the side of the... Oh, what's that noise? I think there's a zombie nearby. Oh, no. Don't tell me I got to get into a fist fight with a zombie. Oh, I got to get into a fist fight with a zombie. Uh, I'm not prepared for this. I haven't really leveled up my fist fighting, but YOLO. Oh, look at this. Freaking the hay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, but check this out. If I right click, I think I could block. No, hit him with the haymakers. Come on. Let's, let's just try to juke him out here. Come on. Bait. Oh, jump baited. Boop. Right there. Straight in the face. Boom. Oh, my God. I think I am using the metal scrap in my... Ow, ow, ow. The metal scrap in my hand, dude. Just come on. I didn't expect to get an unboxing match. What is this freaking... I... I... I, I don't know, dude. I did. I, KSI Logan Paul just finished fighting. Well, here, here's the true fight of the century, all right? We got Papa Star, a brick in my hand. Absolutely no stamina. And hold on. I got to get, like, a little bit more walking. That's why we're losing stamina. And a freaking random zombie that I'm popping out in the face. But he's also out popping me. Come on. This is what. Oh, there we go. Little, little wombo combo. What you going to do, zombie? You ain't going to do nothing. Can you die already? I'm getting exhausted. Ow, ow, ow. I right, just keep that backing it up. You guys can see we're regaining that stamina in the lower left. And this is why I wanted a melee weapon. Because I didn't level up my boxing, man. There we go. Bless up the zombies that see it's not gonna take that long once uh once we get a melee weapon. That is the big thing I'm looking for. But we got ourselves a friggin' fresh pair of clothes. Ooh. Do I get the high tops or the hiking? I kind of like the hiking boots. They definitely seem a little bit doper. All right, let's uh, uncrouch then with a hit, quick hit of C. It's actually pretty cool because if you hit the scroll wheel, you can actually change how fast you sprint. So this is the fastest. If I scroll down, I go into like this kind of like speed walk, speed run, and then scroll down one more time. It's a leisurely stroll. So seriously, they have so many systems. There's also voice chats. So like, hello. I don't know. I just hit push to talk. I don't know if anyone's nearby, but this is looking like a promising location. A shooting gallery. Oh my god, I hear the zombie. Is that a weapon over there? God, I just, I, I can't get into another fist fight. All right, I think this is where we gotta, okay, first off, my computer's gotta stop blowing up, dude. There's a lot to handle with this game. I don't blame you, computer. Uh, but we just gotta get to crouch in here, which is exactly what we're doing. Come on, can I, can I please climb this ladder here? Hello, hello, there, oh, there we go, all right. Let's see if there's anything up here. Hopefully the zombie doesn't notice us because I don't want to be stranded up here. I think he noticed us. Oh, no. And there's nothing up here. Uh, well, there is some ammo for the gun I don't have. Oof. Did he notice us? Dude, I I hear my below. I don't know. I'm going to get to cl climbing down and hoping that all is Gucci. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Can I like... Oh, there we go. Drop off a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, run, 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 run. Oh, very nice. Very, very good backpack. I like, I like, I like. <gasps> is that a pistol? Is that a pistol? No, no, that's not a pistol. Ah, can I vault this? Yes, vault it. Get you, Sammies. Woo! All right. Oh, my God. They can do that, too. These are Super Mario zombies. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting chased. We're getting chased. We're getting chased. Did not expect this. Can we please revault up this? Hello? Hello? Yes. Okay. I don't know if they can Super Mario up this. This gives us a little bit of time to hopefully uh, pick up some stuff here. Because there's definitely some good stuff to be had before they come around and uh, poop on us. We got an adapter for an AK. <gasps> a knife! Can I, can, I, can, I, can I stab with this? Bless, dude. At least we got a knife now. We got a knife. We're moving up in the world. We got a military shirt. Very nice. We got some more ammo. The shooting range has been a marvelous start. Uh, is this a freaking chicken coop? Can I open this? Okay, no, I'm hearing zombies. We got to get to fighting. <gasps> Shank it to you, bro. Oh, there we go. These knives are definitely doing some more damage. I'm just trying to... Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, 2 v one zombies. Not in the game plan initially. Oh, come on, come on. And here's the thing. You guys see... I think they have those, like, that implant in the back of our head. I think that they have that in the back of their head. Could you just die already? I don't have the health for this. I wasn't expecting a giant brawl. Oh, my God. Oh, ow. Yeah, this is not going well. This is not going well. We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Don't freaking moonwalk. Run that way, dude. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Okay. Uh, we're, we're at 21 health. I think we're bleeding from the forearm. Okay, well, come on. Come on. I, I'm just gonna try to... Oh, there we go. One dead. One dead. I might... If we find band-aids, dude, there's still a little bit of hope. This is the last zombie. If this one just dies, maybe drop something for me, guy. Oh! Ho -ho. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Please. Did one of you guys have, like, something here? Because I'm bleeding. My health, I don't think it's staying. Uh, you know what we can probably do here? 
I think we might be able to tear up one of our shirts. And we're not taking any more damage. Let's let's look at our metabolism here. Is there... Are we losing health? Like, what's going on? Uh, oh my god, there's so many systems we gotta look at, dude. Um, I mean, are we still at... No, we are losing health. I think we got a band-aid up. Um, can I tear up my shirt? I think I should be able to do this, man. This is straight up Daisy stuff from back in the day. Can the shirt get torn up? And then can I turn it into some rags? Okay, and can I patch wounds with that? Can I... Okay, I think we're patching. I think we're patching like an Apache helicopter up here. Okay, okay. I think our things are coming to Millhouse. We're going to have really low health. But that shooting range should be totally clear to zombies. And I think we'll be good to go. Are we still losing health, though? Um... Uh, uh, we're at 13 for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my eyes on that. If we keep going down, we keep going down. But for now, what we want to get to looking for is painkillers. That is another thing that I know does exist. But dude, even like random locations like that, these zombies are not to be trifled with. These guys, oh the tracksuit. You know I gotta rock the tracksuit. Give them sweatpants too. But yeah, these guys, even just like a couple zombies here. Like if you are not prepared. Also, by the way, we are healing back up, so we're nice and patched up. Yeah, if you aren't prepared, like, the doo-doo that can be inflicted upon you is not good. And after that, you start playing a freaking game out of the 60s because it's all black and white. A little bit savage there, but I, I think as long as we can calm down, take this thing slowly, I think there's a chance we find a gun here. It's a shooting range, you know? I'm just trying to make that correlation. Uh, there is this little place over here that we might be able to plop open. Oh, there we go. Is that... Is it? Oh? Okay. Oh, so we can open up a little chicken cage. Can I tame chickens in this game? I, I hope so, dude. I, I want a chicken now that I think that that's an option. Unfortunately, no. Nothing's happening over there, but ooh, there's another one up there. And we can take our time when we loot this time and actually make sure that we thoroughly loot this place before we get the hell out of Dodge. But bless up. Our health is already slowly healing up. That's exactly what we needed so oh and some food apparently my guy is very hungry so thank you for that note my man i will try to do that apparently if you guys look in the lower left hand corner it's forearms those things are super sore too uh hiking boots those look nice and uh, is that about it for this area that dust appear to be about it uh do we still have that bayonet in our hands i'm trying to yeah why don't i put that bayonet in the quick access slot three there we go like I think we can actually stick that on a gun too, right? Because it's saying it's a multi-purpose knife and bayonet, and that's the thing. This game seriously has so many systems in it. Am I losing health again? I thought I was just at 18. Am I tripping, dog? I'm not entirely sure. I might have been at 16 or 18. I'm gonna keep keeping my eyes on... Okay, we're going back up. We're going back up. I'm just tweaking out unnecessarily. Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid those zombies for the time being. <laughs> we are not in a position... Ooh. To be burping, sorry about that. Uh, to be trifling with those. Right now, I just say we explore the wilderness a little bit. And we get back on track. Find a main road, because if you guys look at the map. Oh, no. That's a big map. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where we are. I think if we, like, look around. Or, oh, there we are. You guys can see we're in that B2 quadrant. So in that B2 square, kind of, you guys see me doing, like, that little blue Cool Ranch Dorito chip doing 360s? Yeah, that's where we are, so. Ooh. It's actually an airport strip right up towards that way. And I don't know. I don't I think this server was too full when I hopped into it. So we might be able to capitalize upon a pretty empty airport. And if anything, if survival games have taught me anything, airports are A, the best place to get killed. <laughs> and B, the best place to get some quality loot. And I'm going there for reason number B. But you never know. Reason number A might be the... Uh, the true thing that ends up happening but it might be a little bit of a hike i don't think it'll be too bad our guys are actually moving at a pretty solid pace what we gotta be worried about mm, what i'm definitely worried about is if some zombies just decide to jump us out of here because if then our all bets are off man i'm sprinting but like i was saying uh the thing that i noticed is that i think in the back of the zombies heads they have the same implant that we do in the back of our heads i think that the way that works is uh after we die we literally become a zombie because ours is green kind of hard to tell because we're colorblind at the moment but ours is green and the zombies look like they had a red one up in there up in there so a little something to take a note of maybe we'll come across a future or past zombified version of me but we found a road bless up to that walking simulator 2019 let's go into sprint mode because i love going into the full-out sprint and uh honestly at the end of this road 
You guys can see that right turn over there. Uh, that's pretty much where the airport starts. So we are about to begin, hopefully, the rather fruitful looting adventure. And what do you know, boys? Looks like our hunches were right. We appear to have come across quite the airport, quite the landing strips, and hopefully quite the loot. Also, if you guys notice, over in the upper right-hand corner, you guys can actually see something. Is that a freaking mech? What? Um. Remember when I thought this might be easy loot? Oh, please don't. Please don't come this way. Um. This is not going to <laughs> be easy. Dude. There's a giant mech patrolling this place. Oh my god. I'm kind of uh, pooping myself over here. I really hope that guy doesn't notice us. I'm going to try to loot up a couple of... Oh, I think it's telling me. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, big. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm leaving the area. I'm leaving the area, Mr. Robot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. It looks like your bullets hurt. <laughs> well, that's not how I expected my Monday morning to go. <laughs> Getting shot at by giant robots at the airport. So, uh, yeah. The airport is not as easy as I may have thought it'd be. <laughs> There's... I'm not used to seeing this like day Z and stuff. So that's another thing about what what is ENG? Why is my ENG at 3%? Is that my energy? Oh, I'm about to like collapse of exhaustion or something, aren't I? I think that I am. Did I get any food from that? No, unless I learned how to eat bullets and AK mods. I can't eat my clothes either, as fibrous as they might be. Uh, unfortunately, oh, do we have a nice backpack and stuff? I don't want to die already. Uh, we didn't get any food out of that shooting gallery. I kind of want to go stealthy, like, I I think I can sneak past. Let's give it another take. I mean, we're about to freaking die from our total lack of energy, apparently. Might be because we're sprinting all over the place, too, so. I don't know. If we could maybe, uh, I think we could maybe pull off a little bit of, little bit of shenanigans. I don't think that guy's going to notice us, right? Hopefully the Zambies don't notice us, and, uh, we'll have a fun time. We'll have a real... Nice and fun time. Oh, no, he noticed us. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm not welcome here. I'm not welcome here. I'm not welcome here. I definitely can't kill those things either. Uh, okay, so I've learned my lesson. I am going to stay away from this airport for the time being. This is a place to come back. Mm. Is it a place to come back to later, though? I don't really want to come back to it later. Like, I, I kind of want to YOLO it. We don't really have the most loot in the world. Like, the backpack's probably our crowning achievement. We don't even have a gun. We have no energy. We're hungry, our forearms sore. Dude, it's just sounding like an awful Monday morning to me. Why don't we try and do this uh, all sneaky deaky, like at least maybe get into a building. Like I do see there's a building right there, so maybe if the robots are looking away, we might be good to go. Cross my fingers. I mean, I'm hearing Zambies, which isn't good. Is he eyeing me from there, dude? I'm horrified right now. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, die, zombie, die. Come on. Can I at least, like, knife the bejesus out of you? Okay, I see you swinging, dog. I see you swinging. Come at me, bro. Oh, what the? Oh, you, what was that? A dance move? Oh, my God. Not only can these zombies fight, they have the power of dance. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. I'm not even in your dang area, robot. Oh, my God. This is not what I expected. Come on. Relax, bro. Relax. Okay, fine. I'll leave. I'll leave. Oh, my God. You're put this is a trap, man. He's pushing me into zombies. All right, come on. I'm going to let this guy swing a little bit and get my swings in. Because usually, sometimes we get like a really quick swing off after he hits. Or, oh, there we go. After we get a swing off. and that, Oh, my God. I just heard that man's face break. Let's loot this. I swear. Is that guy still coming after us? I'm not even in your stupid airport anymore, bro. Chill. Uh, ooh, fishing hat, though. Need that in my life. Oh, now I want to live. I do not want to die with that fishing hat in my possession. Um... Yeah, why don't we cut up that thing into rags? We don't need that. It's a random clothing. Dude, I love this bayonet. Look at us. We're cutting this thing like a freaking pro. Oh, my God. Freaking uh, Gucci should hire us, dude. I could just make some Gucci clothes at this rate. Um, Oh, the rags are dirty. Oh, is it because the clothes were used? Oh, I think we need to cut up fresh clothes. Well, ain't that unfortunate. All right, just like the fact that we're freaking... <laughs> I don't know, man. At this point... If we can't loot this airport, that's a huge L. How many robots are there patrolling? I don't see any robots over here. There's no way they're just going to be able to tell when we're nearby, right? Right? Besides, if we could... Hmm. Well, we got to... Ah. Uh, can I not use the dirty rags? Do we have anything clean I could cut up? 
these sweatpants i don't need these sweatpants cut it up into rags please do not be dirty rags i'm begging of you game i'm begging of thee crossing my fingers no whammy no whammy nope those are as dirty as can be what is that noise is that the robot coming back towards us is that an alarm are they at high alert because of me oh man what have i done to deserve this um i i just don't know what our next move is honestly maybe just run for the airport little building like i don't think they can fit in the building all right i think that's the best game plan <gasps> YOLO! Maybe we'll find some clean clothes in there because that's exactly what we need. Please don't notice me, don't notice me, don't notice me. Oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm doing it! Mom, I'm doing it! Bless up, baby. Nothing like safety in the middle of pretty much a whole ton of not safety because we're definitely gonna die at this rate. We might even get shot through the windows. I don't wanna get shot through the windows, man. That's like the worst way of getting shot. Plastic scissors? What am I gonna do? Amputate? I'm not that desperate game just give me some clean clothes oh my god i hear that thing if that thing just like tears down the building a that'd be hilarious and b i would start screaming out of total fear because that is not a situation i prepared for mentally uh i i hear it stamping about though i hear you don't worry don't worry there's no way it can fit in here though and i don't even think i realized we're in here and i will this bleeding stop ever like can my platelets start doing what they're supposed to do and like clog up that blood because we're kind of in a pretty primo location here that I want to capitalize off of. And uh, any clothes? Can I can I heal myself with that phone? Just kind of smack my wound until it's healed? Oh, I'm getting hungry too. My God, my guy just wants everything. Well, beggars can't be choosers, my guy. And we're definitely begging pretty hard right now. And burping pretty hard. Sorry about those occasional burps you might be hearing. Uh, yeah, we need some clothes. I'll happily tear up the rest of my clothes. I just think that like we need fuller durability clothes to be able to use it as rags i mean we're in a bathroom maybe uh maybe someone like left a band-aid on the toilet you know maybe there's a band-aid in the toilet no no just toilet stuff the usual poop water that type of stuff pretty nice we can see out that window uh urinals nah nothing over there how about bathroom number two i'm down to nine health man come on a little something can, i know someone had to leave their clothes in the bathroom we, we've all accidentally left clothes <gasps> oh I thought that was a freaking hat for some reason. No, it's a walnut. Well, I guess that solves part of our food problem. Wait, why'd you... Who leaves a walnut in the... I have so many questions. <laughs> a walnut in the toilet? I don't think that's a walnut. Honestly, that does look like a piece of poop, too. I'm just saying. Two plus two equals four. Quick maths. Do the math, and uh, it adds up to the fact we ain't looking bright in this situation. <gasps> oh, my God. That definitely looked like a rag. Are you sure I can't use the lead plate to just rebuild myself stronger than ever before? Uh, all right, at this point, man, we gotta send it. Could I, could I tear up the trucker jacket? Let's cut it into rags. Can you please, please, Mr. Jacket, have something? Actually, I wonder, can I... I was gonna try to unequip it, and no, they're all dirty. Maybe if I leave it in my inventory and cut it up, it won't be cut up dirtily. I don't care if I go naked, dude. I am desperate for life at this point. Can I heal with a dirty band-aid? Nope. Are you sure? Can I not heat? Yeah. All right, we well, gotta keep looking for clothes, man. The timer is ticking, and it's not ticking in our favor. It's ticking down, not up. It's like a bomb. Boom. And it's not looking. Oh, no, 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 no. Not going that. Oh, this is Ambi right there. All right. I'm just gonna very quickly try to get to the second floor. Don't mind me, Mr. Robot Guy. I'm just trying to live over here in this. This is my apartment, as you can most. Oh, my God, it's very bright. Uh, I think the second floor is gonna be a little bit safer. There we go. Okay. I think they know we exist, though, so that's not good. Uh, rough. We're still bleeding. We're as butt naked as can be. He's flashing his light at us. <laughs> this is not how... Oh, my God! What? What? How did we... Hello? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna revive now. Well, uh, I think we just got sniped or something by that robot because... That was a one-hitter quitter, and ooh, is this a Fortnite ramp? What is this? This is either a shelter that we can kind of at least get our surroundings around, or this is a freaking ramp for Fortnite. Where are the carts in this game, man? <laughs> That's what I need to know, but and so far, hopefully this has been a great example of just how hardcore this game is when it comes to survival, how in-depth it is, and most importantly, how badly I want to continue exploring this game, and uh, we'll get my revenge on those giant robots. First and foremost, you don't just do that to me. Ooh, a candle. 
If we're desperate enough, we can drink candle wax. That's nice. Uh, some rocks. Oh, no, I want to pick that dandelion. I didn't want no rocks. All right. But that's the thing, too. Like, we can even, like, I, I know it's not necessarily what we were doing today, but it is something that can be done, and that is, like, all this kind of, like, basic crafting, like, fires, tinders, shelters, like, basic weapons like this. So I was hoping I might be able to find a melee weapon because when I hopped in to kind of mess around with the game, I came across, like, a baseball bat right away. So I'm like, yo, man, that baseball bat can go far, but... I also would have, haven't really had experience going into highly hostile airports, so that's something I know to uh, to keep track of. And other than that, I mean, there's not much chilling at this shelter, so I'll just continue grabbing what I can. And I'm smacking some people in the face with candles, but uh, yeah, this is going to start wrapping up for our very first episode of Scum Survival. Can't wait to read y'all. I got to say that comment section down below. And remember to drop a like if you guys do want to see more, not to mention being subscribed to the notification bell to stay up to date with the Scum series and many more survival games are coming your way. But that's going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Uh, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to the next one. See ya.